the holder of friendship. In any city, in any country, go to any mall or shopping center you can get yourself to. You must ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of friendship. The worker will stand and greet you as if they had known you all their life and hand you a piece of paper. You must then turn around in a 180 degree turn and regardless of what was behind you when you came in, you will find a featureless white wall with a single open elevator. Enter the elevator and it will start rising and then read the paper. The elevator will instantly stop. You will then be in a long beige corridor with a single door at the end. As you walk along the corridor, every insult you could ever imagine will be heard over and over again, growing into a cacophony of voices completely indiscernible. Suddenly, the voices will all stop and silence will fall. A single voice will say, I should not be here. Why did you come? You must instantly kneel and say clearly, I will not leave you. If you feel suddenly colder than you could ever imagine, you must run. Do not head back the way you came. That way will be blocked against you. Head directly into the left-hand wall. If you have escaped, the wall will disappear and you will be home. You may try again next week. If a voice says repeatedly, you stand alone, you may continue. Upon reaching the door, writing will be scrawled across it, screaming that you must not open the door. You must ignore this, and you must straight away open it, or you will be lost forever. When you enter, you will be in a luxurious mansion in a massive lobby. Chained in front of you will be a teenage boy, his shoulder-length black hair just covering his eyes from view. You must walk towards him, and upon doing so you will suddenly be wading waist-deep in snakes. The snakes will not bite you if you keep your eyes on the boy. When you draw closer, the snakes will disappear, and all lights will disappear bar one spotlight which will stay on the boy. All manner of things will reach for you and try to drag you into the darkness. Stay your course. After this trial, your best friend will walk in front of you, blocking your path. Your friend will tell you, you may not speak with the holder. Come, let us leave. You must say, I will not strike you down, but my resolve is true. I must speak with the holder. Your friend will disappear. The boy will then look deep into your eyes with his, which glow bright red. You may ask him, Who shall aid me? He will then tell you who your allies are, who your enemies are, and who will stand with you until the end. Do not interrupt him, but most importantly, do not look behind him. If you do, you will see exactly why the boy is there, and you will take his place. Once he has finished speaking, he will smile warmly and step down from his chains. He will hand you a cell phone with black angel wings burnt into the back. He will then follow you for the rest of your life, but will protect you from death once and only once. This is Object 229 of 538. Whatever you do, he will be by your side.